city in a Batmobile. Even though it get crazy, niggas don't talk like Swayze. What up? This is Swayze, and we have some crazy news coming from the towns. Because honestly, I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. I did not see this one coming. Now, if you're not aware, it seems like 4-1 member Sheik has been arrested for the murder of 13-year-old Troy Gill from four months ago, February 29th. 2024. Now we spoke about this news when it first came out and according to news sources this 13 year old lost his life because of a video that was going viral at the time of another 4-1 member named Ja Wu who was caught lacking by his ops. Kidnapped and beat in the back of a van while they live streamed it on Instagram. Now in case you guys don't remember the article reads a 13-year-old Brooklyn boy gunned down in an apparent gang hit was killed as revenge after a rival was beaten and forced to strip naked on Instagram Live, sources said. The NYPD has identified two persons of interest but has made no arrests in the connection with the shooting death of Troy Gill, a few blocks from his Crown Heights home around 10 p.m. February 29th. Troy was shot four times by rival gang members after attending a Brooklyn Nets game earlier in the night. And he caught his mother in a desperate panic in his last final moments, cops said. Authorities believe Troy was targeted for his affiliation with a street gang, but the child didn't take part in the social media beatdown that sparked the alleged revenge killing. Prior to Troy's murder, the suspected gunman was kidnapped by members of Troy's gang and forced to strip naked, then beaten down in a live-streamed attack. You smoking my dick? Huh, Jawu? Huh, Jawu? Huh? You smoking my dick, nigga? Stop playing with my mother. Look at this nigga's nigga's naked, y'all. Jawu. 4100 Jawu, y'all. 4100 Jawu, y'all. Let him out right here. Get out. 13-year-old boy in Crown Heights. Officers found shell casings at Bergen Street and New York Avenue. They believe the boy was shot there, then ran to Brooklyn to St. Mark's Avenue where he collapsed. CBS 2's Christina Fan has the latest on the search for the boy's killer. Hearts are heavy across Crown Heights after three homicides in the last four days. The latest victim, a 13-year-old boy, killed just blocks away from his home. They were so close together, so loud, I didn't think they were real gunshots. Neighbors reported the barrage of gunfire to 911 around 1040 Thursday night. Police responded to the corner of Brooklyn and St. Mark's Avenue and found 13-year-old Troy Gill with gunshot wounds to his arm and chest. Police sources say he was walking home from the Barclays Arena where he attended a Nets game when he was shot on Bergen Street and New York Avenue. The wounded teenager then ran for another block before he collapsed. This got to stop. This has to stop. Everybody has to come together and help everybody get these guns off the streets and get all these kids because this don't make no sense. He's only 13 years old. Who did he know? What beef did he have with anybody? None. Detectives processed multiple crime scenes off Brooklyn Avenue overnight, taking photos and measurements while recovering six shell casings. This has been a particularly violent week in Crown Heights. On Monday, a bodega worker was shot and killed on Franklin Avenue. On Wednesday, a 33-year-old man was gunned down outside his home and now a teenage victim. I'm a teacher, so to hear that, we've had students die before and just like watching mothers go through that is awful. We have to have conversations about, I think, um, I think more about, about life and valuing life because if you value life, it's, you, you're not going to shoot a gun. So far, no arrests have been made. Police are still searching for a motive. In Crown Heights, Brooklyn, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Hi, good morning, Vanessa. Yeah, really heartbreaking, sad, tragic story here in Crown Heights, Brooklyn this morning. Police have identified the victim as 13-year-old Troy Gill. We are told by sources that he was on his way home from the Nets game last night when this all unfolded. He does live not far, or he did live rather, uh, not far from the scene. I want to give you a live look behind me right now so you can see uh, crime scene investigators remain here in Crown Heights this morning. Uh, there are police officers here at this corner. This is Bergen and New York, although there are multiple crime scenes in this area right now. 
now. Uh, but this is the main one where we believe the shooting took place. You can see there is uh, crime tape up as well. Police tape as well. Now at this hour, police say it's unclear if the boy was the intended target. All we know for sure is the shooting happened last night around 1030. When officers got to the scene, the boy was found with multiple gunshot wounds to his body. He was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Now, this is the third fatal shooting in Crown Heights this week alone. On Monday, a deli worker was shot after we're told he refused to buy his killer a cigar. Then on Wednesday, a 33-year-old was shot in the head and killed on McKeever Place. So, of course, it's really concerning all of this violence in and around this area in Crown Heights throughout this week alone. Now, police say when it comes to this shooting, they do not have any suspect information to uh, release at this hour. In fact, when I asked them if they were looking for one suspect or multiple suspects, they said they really don't know. They are going to be uh, talking more with investigators as the morning goes on. And details, of course, will become available then. And we will bring you those details as they happen. But for now, Police are asking anyone who knows anything to please immediately call Crime Stoppers. That is the latest right now from Crown Heights, Brooklyn. Kieran Dillon, Pix 11 News. Our heart just breaks for that family. Kieran, thank you so much for that update. Police say a suspect still on the loose after a 13 year old boy was shot and killed in Brooklyn last night. This was the third deadly shooting in Crown Heights just this week. Fox News Antoine Lewis has more. The shooting happened just after 1030 Thursday night. Police say 13 year old Troy Gill was shot multiple times near the intersection of Brooklyn Avenue and St. Mark's Avenue in Crown Heights, not very far from his home in the 900 block of St. Mark's. John Raymond among those who heard gunfire. We heard the gunshots. My aunt um, looked out. I saw the tape when I come out. I was a little nervous. I didn't know what was going on until I get to work. Paramedics got on scene and rushed Gill to Kings County Hospital. He was pronounced deceased a short time later. Police say the shooter took off. On Friday morning, NYPD detectives were going door to door, tracking down home surveillance video from cameras nearby as they look for the suspect. It's a mess. It's, this got to stop. This has to stop. Everybody has to come together and help everybody get these guns off the streets and get all these kids because this don't make no sense. He's only 13 years old. Who did he know? What beef did he have with anybody? This is the third shooting this week in Crown Heights. On Monday, 37-year-old bodega clerk Nazim Barry was fatally shot by a customer in a dispute over black and mild cigars. Two days later, police say a 33-year-old man was shot while standing outside of Ebbets Field Apartments Wednesday night around 6. Police are now looking for the suspects in all three cases, which are unrelated. Meanwhile, members of the community are looking for answers. I grew up in the neighborhood, and I've never really known things to happen like this just random and... And it is sad, to be honest. The strangest part about this was kind of like a norm. You know, the reaction of it is kind of like, you know, a norm. Police are still looking for the suspects in these three cases, which are right now believed to be unrelated, but they need the community's help. Anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers. That number, 1-800-577-TIPS. Reporting from Crown Heights, Brooklyn, Antoine Lewis, Fox 5 News. Of people gathered in Crown Heights, Brooklyn, to remember a 13 year old boy killed by gun violence. Police say Troy Gill was walking home from a Nets game at the Barclays Center Thursday night when he was shot in the chest and arm. Happened near Bergen Street and New York Avenue. Police say Troy then ran and collapsed a block away. Tonight, his mother with an emotional and heartfelt message for his friends and the community. He knew everybody and he always checked on everybody. So far, no arrests have been made in the case. Police are still trying to figure out a motive. Well, it looks like authorities believe Sheik from 4-1 had something to do with that murder. As you can see on your screen, it states the incident that took place on February 29th, 2024. And his arrest is on July 29th, 2024. Now, when the news first dropped, the first people to react to it was Cal Rich and D. Bills, with Cal Rich taking to his stories and stating, my mans is innocent. Don't believe everything you see on the net. And D. Bills said, my mans is innocent. Don't believe everything you see on the net. Basically, the same exact thing. And it seems like people are coming down on 4-1 and criticizing them for having a member who took the life of a 13-year-old who had nothing to do with the kidnapping of Jawu and was not gang-affiliated at all. 
As you can see, the victim, Troy Gill's sister, took to the comment section, and this is what she had to say. He was not gang affiliated. My little brother was never in a gang. That's what they are trying to say. Don't believe everything you see in. He was a civilian. And as you can see, the comment above says, everybody saying Troy was gang affiliated. Troy had no affiliations with no gang. Y'all let the internet get to your head, and it's sad, bro. Now, if you ask me, this is just an unfortunate situation all around. At the end of the day, this is not a good look for 4-1. You guys have someone that you're affiliated with that allegedly took the life of a 13-year-old boy for absolutely no reason. And on the other end, you have a kid who lost his life, who family members have to get on the internet and explain how their loved one was not gang affiliated and was targeted due to loose affiliations because of where he comes comes from but again this is all alleged we have to wait to see what happens but at the end of the day a child lost his life and that's the most unfortunate part of this whole situation but pull up in the comment section and let me know how you feel and if you like the video don't forget to share subscribe to the channel if you're not already and make sure you hit that notification button but i'm off this